Tim Sherwood's FA Cup finalists are looking to head to Wembley on a high by ending the Premier League campaign with a home win. Safety secured, the shackles are off, a terrific atmosphere guaranteed in front of a sellout Villa Park crowd. A repeat of the 5-2 triumph over Burnley in the last encounter here would do very nicely. The visitors are heading back to the Championship but have approached their ultimately doomed survival mission with a refreshingly positive attitude. And you picked out a fearless fullback and a talismanic striker from their ranks, Rob. Yeah, I mean, it's been a great story. You know, they got promoted when nobody expected them to. They fought like lions, as we yeah. say. Yeah, like <laughs> to our use boys. a Villa phrase, yeah. Yeah, to, to try and remain in the Premier League. And, and I think most neutral football fans I think we'll be a little bit sorry to see them go because they've had the smallest budget, you know, and they've had a real team ethic about them. They've been, they've been great to watch the whole season. I think all football fans uh, have been willing them after they had such a, a dreadful start to the season where everybody mm. wrote them off and thought they yeah. were gone. And they've, they've really turned it round. And it, largely, I guess, due to the goals of this man, the much vaunted Danny Ings, English striker, out of contract. I guess he'll have a, a lot of suitors over the mm. summer months. And he's been terrific, as we've seen against ourselves. You know, he's a real good player, Jack. He's got lots of ability, works hard, uh, looks after the ball well. Mm. You know, he's, he's part of the new modern breed, I think, of English striker, the likes of Harry Kane and Charlie Austin, that can do more than just score goals. Yeah, he's the jewel in the crown. And, and Kieran Trippier's another guy, isn't he? He raids down that right hand side, he's got all the qualities of, of being a very good fullback. He's a great player. I, I think he's somebody I'd like to see here at Villa Park, Jack, mm. actually, because right. I, I think for the, what it will cost, I mean, he's been linked with his old manager, Eddie Howard, at Bournemouth now, they're newly promoted, but it, he's got everything. And if you look at his stats for Burnley, he tops the stats in nearly everything. Passing, chances created, tackles, you name it. He's been Mr, Mr. Invincible the, the whole season for them. And, and obviously you want to fall back, the, the most important thing with what is reliability. Yeah. And you know, he's played 37 games already this season, so that's one thing he provides, is that reliability. Um, and he's, like you say, the, the goals that Danny Ings scored, he's probably been the one who's created a, mm. a lot of them for him. But the only clarets we really care about are those of AVFC, and so nice to be safe, isn't it? We thought everything could be riding on this game, and, and it's just worked out perfectly. So yeah. in the FA Cup final, the following week, sellout crowd expected. Let's just go and enjoy this football match. Yeah, my personal feelings are, even though it was, it was a, a you know a disastrous result, I don't think it was the worst thing that could have happened to us, Jack, because I think we've been playing really well lately, mm. and it was just one of those things. I think, hang on a second, let's not forget what we're good at. Let's go back to basics, do what we do, and maybe looking at the system and how we play. Maybe looking ahead to the cup final. Well, maybe we can't play a high line against Arsenal. There might be a couple of things. It might have done the manager a lot of good. And you want to finish as high as possible in the league as well. There's still a chance of improving on last season's 15, so that's, that's an element to it. Yeah, yeah, I, I, yeah there is. But I, I just think that, that the prize of the FA Cup is so mm. great with the chance of European football yeah. for our football club that we've not had for such a long mm. time, Jack. Yeah, I can't believe they changed the rules this year. It would be in already. But you want to do it by winning the trophy. No, yeah. Absolutely. Mm. So if we, if we win the FA Cup, we, we, we're in Europe. Yeah. And that's, you know, European away days for our football fans are something mm. that we've missed for a long, yeah, long time. Yeah. Um, so the gaffer's got to have an eye on the cup final. He, he yeah. will almost certainly be resting one or two. Yeah, we'll see. Thanks very much, uh, Froggy. Much more analysis over on AVTV. Tony Morley alongside me for commentary on Sunday afternoon. We'll see you then.